Hey, Jeff here with Tat Mater. This is my very first art vlog, and thanks for coming and watching it. Uh, today I'm going to be taking a kinetic blend. Uh, that's a print that I had made from an original commission piece that I did for Toshiba, the Japanese television manufacturer, located in Lebanon, Tennessee. And I'm going to be trying a new style of mounting and framing. Uh, I'm going to be lathering it up with a lot of uh, epoxy resin. And I'm going to try to make a nice, smooth, clean finish type of frame job on this uh, kinetic blend. It's about 29 inches high and 48 inches wide. And I call it a blend because I'm blending two different images and making it a reverse kinetic. Some people might call it a stereoscopic type of piece of artwork. As you walk by, you'll be able to see two different images as you pass through. In the middle image, I've always worked hard to make the middle image a nice balance of just beautiful colors. I had the artwork in a different frame and needed to cut it out for this purpose. And by so doing, it requires me to paint all the edges black to keep the image looking nice and consistent. All right, the first thing that we want to do is give the artwork a good coat of polyurethane. And I like using the ultra polyurethane. It's a water-based urethane. And I like the fact that it has very low odor and it dries rather quickly. One of the reasons we do that is to seal the entire piece of artwork and the backing or the frame that's going to be around this. So that when we pour the resin, we won't get bubbles coming up through it. So that's very important. Most anything you want to pour resin over, you definitely want to have it sealed to keep bubbles from coming up through it. And that's one of the reasons for doing the, the uh, polyurethane coat. So one of the first things you want to do is make sure you have all the dust, make sure everything is really nice and clean. Because once you do this, once you put the, uh, the poly coat on and the resin, it's not very easy to straighten it back out. One of the first things we did was made sure that the product was centered to the frame. Before I put the artwork together in this blend fashion, I had already given it a clear coat and so that's why none of the artwork is actually rippling from this new coat because it's already been protected once. Every little seam and every little joint is becoming stronger as we poly seal this. I like making nice, long, even strokes once we're done to keep everything nice and smooth, have all the grain of the brush lines going the same direction as the artwork is going. Make sure that there's an even coat all the way through and before we pour the resin, we want to make sure this thing is completely dry because if there's any moisture in it, it will cause a cloudiness to occur inside your resin. So you definitely, any water and anything that you might pour resin on will cause a cloudiness. I learned that the hard way. And you start with a hardener. We're going to go about 16 ounces of each one. Uh, you mix them in equal parts. be mixing them for about four minutes. And 
when you pour them into the mixing bucket, you want to pour the hardener in first because it goes around the bucket nicer and has less problems uh, ultimately when you mix. If you poured in the epoxy resin first, it doesn't seem to mix as, as quickly or as well. So as you can see, it's a, it's a lot thicker. So always pour the hardener in first and then your resin. So I'm going to set my stopwatch. And we're going to mix for four minutes. It becomes milky white for the first minute that you're stirring. And after that, it begins to clear up. Make sure you scrape around all the edges real well. Make sure you get all the bottom stirred up real well. I'm letting this sit for about 18 to 22 minutes. I want the temperature of the resin to get to about 88 degrees before I pour. That will cause the resin to move about on the surface a lot slower and I won't have as much drippage on the sides. I use the propane torch to eliminate some of the bubbles as I go. I'll have to do that more often uh, once I get it on top of the piece of artwork. I can fill the bucket, it's getting warm. We're at 88 degrees. We can now pour. Anytime you are using a torch on resin where there are sharp edges like wood, plastic, or paper, it's important that you keep the torch moving quickly so as to not burn or blacken any of the edges.
And here you have it. The title of the piece is Assembly. The red windows around the sides of the artwork are Toshiba Red. This is the side that represents hardware. And this is the side that represents software. Things that come from Toshiba assemble together to make beautiful things. They make both hardware and software at Toshiba. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.